Okay, here we are looking at Starry Night Pro. I've got Starry Night set to Raleigh, South Carolina, United States. According to Catfish's profile, he lives in South Carolina, so this will be his view from uh, around about that area. This is the 14th of August 2013, set at 1.26pm uh, local standard time. I have not set this to daylight saving time if, if that's the, the case currently. Now I've got the moon selected and centered and we can see this red box which I'm going to zoom in on. This red box is to simulate a field of view of a digital camera or a video camera as we take images of the moon as it rises and crosses our sky. Okay. Now remember that the bottom of this red rectangle, our field of view, is always going to be level with and parallel to the horizon. This is to simulate what happens when we take a photo because unless you're doing something funny with your camera like turning it on an angle then normally when you take a photograph your feet are firmly planted on the ground you hold your, your camera with the bottom of the camera parallel to the ground whenever you take a photo. It doesn't matter whereabouts an object is in the sky normally the bottom of your camera will be parallel with the ground. So this red box is to simulate our field of view. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so we can clearly see the moon. Now obviously it's in the early afternoon at the moment so the moon is rather hard to see so I'm going to turn off the daylight so we can get a clearer view. Now we can see that on the 14th of August the moon was at first quarter. As we can see in the information on the left hand side it says first quarter 7.71 .7 days old. Okay, now the green line that we see is the orbit line of the moon. The illuminated part of the moon obviously is always facing the sun. The line between the illuminated side of the moon and the dark side of the moon, this boundary here is called the terminator. The terminator is always perpendicular to the orbit line and it will always be um, perpendicular uh, to that line regardless of the um, position of the moon in the sky. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the daylight back on so we can have a proper simulation of what's going on during the day as we progress through the hours and I'm going to run this forward. Now the time is 12,000 times faster. So we're running this forward. I'll zoom that out so we can see the horizon. Remember that the bottom of that red box is always parallel to and level with the horizon. So we can see that the moon is now at about its highest point in the sky and now it's coming down the other side and the bottom of that red box is still parallel and level with the horizon. Okay so we're coming up to 10.50 p.m. on the 14th of August. Now if I zoom in you can see how much the angle of the moon has changed there. But the illuminated side is still um, facing the sun, obviously, and the terminator line, this line here, is still perpendicular to the orbit line. I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to run this backwards to our starting point, as we were. And again, the bottom of that red box is level and parallel to the horizon. Okay, so we're coming back to our starting point. Back to about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, now I'll zoom in. Once again, the bottom of the box is parallel to the horizon. I have to stress that. I'm going to zoom in so we can see the moon, and I'm going to turn off the daylight this time. Remember, even though it's dark, it's still 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to run this forward again, and this time we can see more clearly because I'm zoomed up and the daylight is off. We're going to look at the angle of the moon, the apparent angle to the observer. So as I run this forward, 
we can see that apparent angle is tilting over and that terminator line is coming up to perpendicular from our point of view it's rotating clockwise and now it is tipping over and I believe that this is what catfish is talking about but this is simply caused by field rotation as has been explained previously now we're seeing the horizon scenery coming in there so if I zoom back out we will see that that's actually part of a roof line so I'll back that up so we can see the moon again I'll stop that we'll zoom in and we can see that the bottom of the red box is still parallel to the horizon line and this is what we would get if we were taking a photo of the moon or we were looking at it with our eyes um, we have the same perspective as taking a picture through a camera, a video camera or a digital camera or whatever so we can see that the moon has apparently rotated through the sky but again this is simply caused by field rotation has, has been, um, as has been explained previously it's not because the moon is doing a flip by 180 degrees it's not because the sun is playing hopscotch as catfish has said it isn't and it's not because the moon is cycling through 28 days of lunar phases as catfish has suggested is happening each night it is simply because of field rotation as has already been more than well and truly explained but no doubt this explanation won't be enough as well but anyway